Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Desmond. So College Kings is updated not long ago. So today we will continue to play College Kings Part A. Before that, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Let's get started. This is amazing. Chris, they are all the fight kings of the wolf. There is one for every year we have won. Haven't you guys won seven times though? I only count six portraits. Chris, yeah, well, that's because of this guy. Who is this? This is a wolf legend right here, Benz Vaga. Imro's brother, okay. He won two years in a row, the only wolf to ever win twice. You should have seen him, he was so determined. Sometimes he worked out for 8 hours in a single day. That's insane! 8 hours, oh my goodness. Don't you need to study at all? Yeah, he was something different. Who's the guy next to him? Oh, that guy, that's Chuck. AKA the fighting car. <laughs> Uh, not no, not like that. Like a chicken. Cock just sounded better. Oh, okay. He was scrawny as F, but that kid could fight like hell. Haha, <laughs> damn. And then next to him is Drew. He was known for his kicks. I don't remember what the guy used to do. I think it was gymnastics or something. I don't know him personally, but we still teach his kicking technique to this day. I didn't know gymnastics would make you good at fighting. Haha, <laughs> me neither. But here at the Wolf, we try not to judge people based on stereotypes. So good, this gang. He actually got turned away by the apes that year. They told him he didn't fit the style. But the Wolf saw his potential and welcomed him with open arms. He turned out to be one of the best fighters we ever had. Yeah, sounds amazing. What about the guys on the, the other side? Oh, this, this guy look like Chinese. On the left, that's David Park. He was actually a foreign exchange student from Korea quite a while ago. Sorry, he's a Korean. He was a black belt in Taekwondo. It took him a while, little while to adjust to a different style of combat, but his fighting was like an art. He was swift, light on his feet. How do you know so much about each of them? You have only been at San Velajo for like 3 years, right? These guys are legend. There were hundreds of wolves over the years. Only 6 ever won the summer showdown. It's a huge deal, so you hear a lot about them. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What about him? That's the war. The war? He was a big guy, he wasn't particularly skilled at fighting from what I've heard, he was hella slow. Then how the hell did he become a fight king? Because that guy could take hits like it was nothing, hence the war. He just let the other guy hit him over and over again until they got tired, then when the other guy was completely exhausted, the war would just lay one good hit on him and he would be down. That's crazy, that guy must have had some mad genetic. Yeah, he was just completely unbreakable. Okay, what about the last guy? He can't possibly be a fight king, right? I told you we don't discriminate based on prejudice. That's Earl Levington. He was a brain, probably the smartest wolf we ever had. What? He will plan out his move Methodically, he will analyze the way his opponents fought and prepare every possible move. I mean, he barely got hit, he dodged almost every punch thrown at him based on his opponent's micro expression. <sighs> this is very, very unlogic. Now that's actually insane. So, all these guys were wolf presidents too? Yep, each and every one of them was at some point in their life. 
That's really impressive. Why aren't you on here? Okay, let me ask. Why aren't you on here? So I don't know if it's weird while asking, but if you're not one of the Fight King, how come you're the current pop president? Well, the year before me, Chuck was president. It was his last year, so I got voted in. We need a new president every one or two years, so some presidents aren't fight kings. Of course, my goal is to become one and get on that wall. But I also believe that being president while someone else wins for the wolf is just as big of an honor as winning yourself. A good leader doesn't need to be the best fighter. Wow, so the, the, the wolf gang seems like very good, very friendly and then they don't discriminate. Team, team power. Yeah, I can see that, but winning must be surreal too. Of course, good thing we are taking the crown back this year. I can feel it. So that's what the empty frame is for, huh? You gotta manifest your belief. Only way to make them come true. I brought the frame preemptively because I know that this will be our year. Well, it's good you are prepared. Yeah, so pledging starts tomorrow at 6pm right here at the Wolf House. I gotta get back downstairs now, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, alright, thanks. I should go back down too. I wonder if Imro is here. Maybe this would be a good time to patch things up between us. Aubrey. Hi Aubrey my girl. Have you seen Imro? Who's Imro again? <laughs> Aaron, I've seen him. He left with this hot brawn like 10 minutes ago. Oh alright, thanks. Damn it. Can you just not for once? You do this every single Afghan time. I just don't get it. Nora Nora, come on, don't do that Woohoo! This bow guy has a very bow head I swear he finds new reason to get upset every day Wow, Nora seems really upset Go after Nora, leave her alone Nora, I... What should I do? Okay, go after her maybe. Loyal? This case mentioned loyal. Okay, so if I like that, I think I better don't go after Nora because I have to loyal to Chris. Okay, leave her alone. I should leave her alone. She probably just wants to be alone right now. It's late anyway, I better go home. What the hell? Da, 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 da. Riley, are you and Emily back together? No. What are you talking about? You have just unlocked the social media app Kiwi. Open it now from the home screen. Okay. What is this for? <laughs> I don't look hot in this picture at all. Oh my god. This is also very bad, this posture. It's like I have no neck at all. Okay, let me choose this suit. For Emily, finally fate brings us back together. What doesn't kill us only make us stronger. Huh? Oh, this is Aubrey. Nice. Lauren, wishing I could go back. Lauren is a, such a weird girl. Ignore. Chloe, I will always follow the sun. Oh, pretty girl. Like. Okay, exit phone. Okay, I need to call Emily right now. What the F was she thinking? Hey, babe. Okay, be. Okay, be angry. Get angry. Emily, what the F? Jeez, what are you getting so worked up about? 
Don't play stupid Emily, you know why I'm pissed. Is this about the photo I posted? Hell yeah, this is about the photo you posted. What else would, would I be pissed about? It's just a photo, I don't understand why you are getting so upset. You purposely make it look like we are back together and you know we are not. We hook up, big deal. Okay, okay, calm down. You don't need to raise your voice at me. You know that we are not getting back together, right? Yeah, I mean, I will just... I just really enjoy spending time with you again. Take the effing post down. We are done. This done. Whoa, I'm so mad. I forgot how effing crazy she is. I need to clear my head. Maybe going for a walk will help. Da, 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 da. So much has happened in the last few days. I have met so many people and had so many new experiences. I mean tonight pledging starts and after everything that's happened, I'd rather join a frat than be without, even if it means fighting. At the end of the day, it does seems like the best way to make friends, meet girls, and truly experience college. Okay. Shit, just remember that tomorrow also my next history lecture. Gotta make sure to remember wearing that stupid costume I bought. Doggy shelter. Didn't Autumn say she worked here? Maybe she's in. Hey Autumn. Oh hey bad boy. Are you here to adopt a dog or... Just remember you said you work here. Thought I stopped by. I was gonna say I think there's a pet policy in the dorms. Haha. <laughs> I mean I also remember you saying you let me play with some of the dogs if I came by. Um, that's true. Alright, follow me. Wow, performing CPR for dog. Oh. This Oscar. He's probably our least shy one. He won't need to get to know you first in order to be affectionate. Cute, right? So cute. Almost as cute as you. Yeah, he really is. Wow, this girl is very pretty. Black hair. And then the lips look like... Nude color skin, nude color lips, almost as cute as you. Oh, uh, can't believe you get to play with them all day. Oh, adorable. Sally, my job is mostly cleaning, fitting, and dealing with administrative stuff. Not a lot of playing. So I know you're really into politics, right? Feminism and stuff? Yeah, that's right. However, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a feminist. I just don't like the idea of classifications. But yes, I feel very strongly for the feminist movement and do very much care for women's rights. That's great. Equality is the way. Is there anything you fight for? No. Huh? Yes, of course. No, not really. Lawyer, why here is a... Lawyer is come out again. I don't understand, but I, as a man, I should answer yes, of course. I guess we all have something, am I right? You'll be surprised. Politics tend to scare people. Yeah, but if we are not the ones fighting for change, then who is? So what is your cause then? Oh my god. Uh, my cause is... The, um... Western Animal Movement <laughs> Oh Animal Rights, how fascinating I have to admit I haven't done much research into the Western Animal Movement Would you care to elaborate on its exact purpose and goals? Oh my god I'm dumb I'm dumb You know um, it's like Animal Rights but more in the West <laughs> Cause um the Eastern animal rights are um, good, but the West, you know, I mean, that's where we gotta focus our energy. Okay, I'm bullshitting at all. Oh, alright, I'll definitely check it out. Oh, you buy it? Autumn, you buy it? You buy what I say? So, um, do you like to... A lot of protests and stuff like that? Yeah, whenever I can. This Saturday, I'm actually going to protest for human rights. Can I join? 
that's really cool okay i will choose the first option because i think it's kind of nice that if i can bang autumn as well you sure yeah i love to help well i'm surprised but if you really want to then sure i was gonna make my sign on friday if you want to join yeah definitely just let me know when you're making them anyway i gotta get back to work soon yeah of course it was really nice seeing you and thanks for letting me play with this little fellow yeah no problem i'll see you on friday yes I knew it! Alright, time to get back to my dorm. Who is this? Riley. Check Kiwi. We are not back together. Oh, okay, just like look like it. We are not. Okay. Okay. Lauren. Great, meet me at our economics classroom. Hey, you wanna go to the beach today? Sounds good. When were you thinking? Sorry, I can't. I'm really busy today. I'm really busy, okay, Lauren? Weird girl. Okay, another time then. Time to finish my history assignment. Huh? Hey, I'm really sorry I posted that picture. I should have said something about it to you before. I guess I have to admit that I kind of miss you. And I miss us being together, but that's my problem and my fault. I really want to make it up to you. If you forgive me, come to my dorm at midnight. I will have to surprise. I will have a surprise waiting for you. XO, XO, Emily X. Okay. Emily is just hot and cold. I will have to see how I feel about it at midnight. But giving her yet another chance doesn't seem like a great idea. Yes, you are right. Oh shit, it's almost 6 already. Wolf pledging starts soon. Is it stupid of me to wanna pledge now? I didn't think threat life was for me. No, you should go. Wolf pack, achievement unlocked. Wonder what it will be, be like once I'm inside or if I even get in. Wait, is he waving at me? Imro was wondering where you were. What? Imro forgive me? Really? Yeah man, I know we have our differences but at the end of the day, we are still bros. Happy to hear that man. And not just any bros, we are gonna be frat bros. Hell yeah! Ouch! That's for overreacting a little before. Haha. <laughs> Sorry man, I shouldn't have acted like that. Wow, so fast to patch up the relationship. Know that I've got your back from here on, bro. It's cool man, what matters is we are here now. And what will be in a few hours. We are about to be wolf. This is the shit you have been waiting for. Our life will officially change forever. Haha, <laughs> calm down bro, we are just joining a frat. Then, but we are gonna get mad <laughs> pussy after this. Oh shit, here we go again. Wow, okay. Wolfpack, they don't look very strong to me. I look so sleep. Oh, white shirt guy, not bad. Other guys, uh, I think the game developer should make the guys those. Why, eh, why, why this guy ah? This guy with the orange or pink shirt, he looks like a little bit like Lelouch. Can any of you tell me what it means to be a wolf? To be a wolf, you need to be hardworking. To be a wolf, you need to be hardworking, persistent, determined. You need to be deliberate with your actions. Confident, dedicated, motivated, and, and fearless. 
Now all of that sounds a bit intense, I know. But on top of those qualities, we need guys who we can trust. But on top for each other. Eh? Guys who are honest and always look out for each other. Loyalty is of the accents here. I need guys that I can call at any time and who will always have my back. Yes sir. But most importantly, I need winners. Being a winner doesn't mean you always have to win. Okay, so? It means going in there believing that you will win is a mindset. Do you have what it takes to be a winner? Every year we only accept 3 pledge. Training cap capacities are limited. Pledging to the wolf happens today and only today is one night filled with challenges. Challenges that test you as a person. Oh, so long. You might ask why we don't do Hell Week. Well, this is a party frat. Training needs to start as soon as possible, so we don't want to waste an entire week. It all happens tonight. Wow, so dedicated. You all face four challenges, each representing one of the core wolf values. Honor, determination, honesty, and loyalty. These values are what make us, what defines us. We need guys that can embody this 100% of the time. I feel very lame. The challenges will be difficult, but if you want to be a wolf, you must prove yourself. Now let's get started with the first challenge. Okay. Determination. For this challenge, you will have to prove that you will do whatever it takes to become a wolf. Each of you will be in a separate room. You will be given tasks to test how much you really want to be a wolf. You, how far you are willing to go and what you are willing to give up. Other wolf will guide you with the task. Let's get started. I wonder how far they are gonna take us for the test. Sup bad boy, it's Marcus. Hey! So listen, I'm supposed to run you through a bunch of questions and then hit you with the final one in order to see if you are determined enough. But I'm just gonna tell you straight up, the only way to show determination is if you're willing to elim eliminate one of the other guys. Whoa, this is cruel. What do you mean? If I tell the guys you're willing to have me eliminate Imro, I can convince them to secure you a spot. You wouldn't have to compete with the others for it. And if I don't? Then you still continue on with the challenges to try and secure your place. But remember, we only take in 3 patches and usually at least 2 people get take these deals and get a secure spot, so you might get eliminated if you don't do it. Why Imro? You know why? No! This is a determination test but no, I have to decline. I cannot be an ass, okay? I don't think I don't think I should do that. Decline. I'm not betraying Imro like that. I'll take my chances. Noted. Now go meet Chris again. All right. And hey, good luck with the other task. So how was your first challenge, guy? Ahem. <clears throat> Savior, clear throats. I've got a confession to make. I know I talked about honesty before but this challenge was actually meant to test your loyalty. I like about the determination part. Wow, good thing I didn't do it. We wanted to see how loyal you were to your fellow pledges and potentially future wolf. Loyalty trumps everything. Never go against a brother back. For those of you that did, I hope you learned your lesson. For now, let's move on to the actual determination challenge. Now this is your real determination challenge. You need to prove that you can stick it out until the very end. How bad do you want it? How long can you suffer to get what you want? How determined are you? The task is simple. All of you will get into a tub filled with freezing, cold, ice water. The last one to leave wins. I got this. Fuck, I hate cold water. Let's get started. Come with me. Oh, okay. Remember, the last one is 
In is the winner. I can't do this, I'm out. Okay, Savior out. Jackson, out. Ooh, let's see how long you guys can endure. Imrose, shit, I thought this would be easy. Shh, okay, wow. Imrose certainly he has a big D. You can see from the shirt here. The game developer is, he's not just like focusing on the girl. Even the man, right? He's very good in drawing at the boy's part as well. That leaves two of us. Bad boy and Perry. Let's see who chickens out first. No, 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 I'm not going to lose. Bad boy, you've got this, bro. F, this too cold. I'm losing sensation of my body. Yo, bad boy, who, why is Chloe calling you? Ha ha ha. Aaron, don't do that, okay? Wait, Chloe? This could be important, but if I leave, I will lose the challenge. No, continue the challenge. Bro, before pussy. I'll get it later, I'm in this to win. That's the spirit. Damn, I tried my best. Yes, I won. You did it, man. Quick. Grat. Bad boy, good job. Honesty challenge. Honesty is a key pillar to being a wolf. Without honesty, there can be no loyalty or honor. This challenge will test how honest you will really be when the time comes. The wolf will come out and say personal statement about each of you. You have to say whether the statement are true or false. And I will warn you, these statements are meant to embarrass you. They are meant to be shameful. First up, Jackson. True or false? Your first weekend here at the university, you got so wasted that you shit your own bed. False. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not embarrassed. I shit my pants, not my bed. Haha. <laughs> That's so gross. So lame, these challenges. Perry, true or false? In high school, you slept with your cousin. Uh. Quick, true or false? False. Sally, we are confident that it's true. What the F? Really, bro? I have a reason. Oh my god. Perry looked like a fuck up man. His eyes has no... No... How to say? No spirit at all. Man, what reason could you possibly have for that? I didn't know she was my cousin until a lot later. Damn, you must have a big ass family. <laughs> yeah. Okay, enough fuss. Good job, Perry. Let's continue. Next up, Savior. True or false? You slept with your high school chemistry teacher to get an A. Wow. True. No way. Look at this one banging a teacher like a boss. Damn. And she was in really good shape for 65 years old. Oh, that's so old. 65? What the f, dude? <laughs> oh God, Savior. Anyway, you can step back. Imro, you are next. Imro, true or false? You have always been jealous of your older brother for being a better fighter than you. At one point, even tried to sabotage one of his fights. True, but those times are behind me. I was a kid then. I know that's shitty of me, but I wouldn't do that to any of you ever again. Okay, good. Thank you for your honesty. You may step back. And last but not least, bad boy. It is true that you have never been in a fight before coming to San Vallejo? Shit, if I say true, I'm gonna look a weakling. But if I say false and they know I'm lying, I'll feel the challenge. Just say true. True. It's true, but no need to explain. We exp appreciate your honesty. Let's move on, move on to the next challenge. Okay, last but not least, honor. Reputation is what others know about you, but honor is what you know about yourself. Each of you will be placed in the room again. Only this time you won't be alone. Okay, so what? 
In this room, you will be placed with someone close to the wolf. It could be a girlfriend, a sibling, or even a close friend. They will each have a hypothetical problem. It is your job to find the most honorable way to solve that problem. You have an hour and don't come out until the hour's done. Wolf, guide the plush into their respective rooms. That's yours. Good luck, Aaron. What? Oh, it's you. Nice to see you too. Nora look like... Oh, I don't like you, Nora. Okay, well, let's just get on with it then. So, my best friend knows she's going to fail her English final. She asked me if I can try and seduce a teacher to change her grade. Do I do it or not? Of course, no. Isn't it obvious you don't do it? And why not? Your friend F up. She should have studied. That's not on you. And you don't put yourself at risk for her. Yeah, this is true. Um, I'll note that down. Now we wait until the hour's done. Wait, that's it? Yeah. But the real question is, would you do it? Seduce my friend's English teacher? Hell no. <laughs> Even for my best friend, that's a dumb idea. What will you do? Seduce your friend teacher? If it was hot, then maybe. Wow, you totally would. Why not if she was hot? I'll do it even if my friend didn't ask me. Ha, huh, unbelievable. And what will you do to seduce this teacher? Tell her she's beautiful and that I would like to do all kinds of things to her in the bedroom. Then in the bedroom? What? I guess she have to wait and find out. What? No, I have to pull away. No, no, no. I have to have my honor. I think this is the real test. <laughs> Pull away. Nah, we can't do this. Because Nora is Chris' girlfriend, right? No, I cannot do this. Nora, I'm sorry. You pass! What? That was the real test. You pass it. I knew it. Wait, really? That's great! Aaron, the test is done and he's passed. Of course I passed! You this no manners girl, you think? Definitely I will F you, is it? Thanks Nora, you can go now. Let's go back. This marks the end of pledging. We have ranked all 5 of you based on not only your result but also how you got them. Doing well in the challenge is one thing, but that's not everything we considered. Let's review the rankings. The first place go to... Bad Boy. Yes, I knew it. The second place goes to... Inro. Wow, not bad. And the third place goes to... Perry. Congratulations guys, you are officially wolf now, you are moving in tomorrow. I have to move in with them? Imro, holy shit. A wolf, that's who I am now. Crazy to think. The most exciting phase of my life, just about to begin. How does it feel? Unbelievable, I haven't really processed it yet. I mean I don't even know much about threat life or fighting or... Yeah, don't worry, you are gonna love it. Yeah, I think so too. Alright guys, more of us have classes tomorrow and it's already far past midnight, so let's end it here. Imro, Perry and Bad Boy, I expect you to be here with all your things tomorrow evening. You are moving in. Applause and cheering. Woo! Oh my god. I completely forgot about Emily. Wonder if she's still up. Text her. Hey, sorry, I lost track of time. You up? 
Okay, no reply. Never mind. I think maybe she's asleep. Wait, let me get back. Today was so packed. Can't wait to just fall asleep. Hmm, I look good. I look like Justin Bieber. It's okay. You get the surprise another time. Exciting! Oh shit! It's history class today. Isn't it? Gotta wear that costume. Damn! I don't know about this. I look like caveman. Well, time to leave to the class. Oh, it's been thirty-five minutes. Still, nothing steamy happened. Hey! Oh, Imro! Imro is looking more handsome. Why? After the game is updated, then he look more handsome now. Hey man, what's up? Oh, uh, not much, just here. Nice costume, dude. Yeah. So the wolf, you stole or what? Man, I've been waiting for this day for a while. Haha, <laughs> thought so. Yeah, I'm ready to start. Fighting already. Oh, so you have been training? Of course, I think we should start training together again. But this time in the wolf gym is gonna be awesome. Oh, this teacher again, Mr. Lee. Well, well, it's so nice to see you all dressed up in your outfit. Yeah, damn you, teacher. Do you know that my outfit is very expensive? Some of you did very well in choosing, while others not so much. I must say. But nevertheless, doesn't it feel so good to wear something from the past? It's just cosplay, dude. It's like walking through a time machine. Huh, <laughs> fucking weirdo. Who said that? Teacher Cameron said that. You know, if you guys think you know so much about history, why don't you guys just teach the class instead? I'm listening. Bad boy, you come up here then. Why is me again? Why do you show the class what you picked for your walk through the history? Uh, come on, hurry, young man. And what are you wearing today? Uh, Viking. Oh, very well. Did you guys know that although Vikings appear to come off as straggly, they were actually quite known for their cleanliness. They usually bath once a week. Okay. Ew, gross. <laughs> Penelope, Penelope, your the face looks so messed up. Are you being hit by the car? Well, back then you'd be lucky to meet someone who bath once a month. But I must say, bad boy. Viking didn't have horns on their helmets. Okay, very unfortunate. I don't care. Okay, stay silent. Huh? Camera is very annoying. I want to punch him. Okay, bad boy, you can go sit now. I don't want to bring up, bring up another problem to my classmate. Dun 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 dun. Hey, Penelope. Oh, she look hot. Hey, bad boy. Love your costume. I was nervous because it's kind of like a maiden costume, but it looks so cute. I really couldn't help myself. Well, it's a good choice. You look amazing. Thanks. I'm just glad Mr. Lee didn't pull me up in front of the whole class. I would have had no idea what to say. Ha ha. You know you could have asked me for some advice on the costume. I would have told you that one wasn't historically accurate. Well, you win some, you lose some. I still think the costume looks good. All right, I I will give you that one. 
Okay, well, I gotta be heading out. Maybe you can catch up soon. Sure, bye. Finally back in my normal clothes. Damn, I totally forgot about it. Home's coming tomorrow. Oh, so many activities. I will still need to ask a girl as well as rent a suit. I sure hope this decision doesn't create 8 alternate timelines. Choose a girl to ask. Oh. Emily, definitely no. Penelope, Lauren, no. Lauren is well. I'm not sure Lauren see me as more than a friend but we have been getting close. Penelope, Autumn. Aubrey, oh. no, she's just a... Slut Riley and I are good friends. She might say yes if I ask her. I think I will ask Chloe. Oh, bad boy. Chloe, do you wanna go to homecoming with me? Bad boy have so much to do at the dance. I'm in charge of a lot of the planning and organizing. I don't know if I can. Come on, I know you want to. I'm sorry bad boy, but I can't be anyone's date. I need to find a replacement and everything. I'm really sorry. Okay, fine, I guess enjoy your run. Thanks, I'll see you there. Oh, guess I'll f have to find someone else to ask. Oh my god. Go alone, no, cannot. Laura is very weird. Emily, no. Amber. Aubrey, no. She's just a no string attached. Autumn or Riley or Penelope. Hmm. Riley? Autumn? Wow, so hard. Riley then. Knock, knock. Will you be my Cinderella for homecoming? Um, honestly, I was just gonna go with some friends. I mean, you could probably go with us if you want. Um, no, that's okay, thanks though. I'm sorry, it's just... No worries, I'll see you there then. Um, okay, see you there. What the hell? Autumn. I'll surprise her. Trumpet starts playing. What the hell? Autumn, Autumn, will you go to homecoming with? Shh. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Asking you, asking you to homecoming. In the library? <laughs> um, I. Sorry, I have a thesis to write and I really don't enjoy dances. Oh, come on! Sorry, but no! Alright, alright, I, I get it. I'll uh, see you later then. Yeah, bye. Damn, did I overdo it? Anyway, let's see who else I could ask. My god, I feel it all! I don't want to ask this tree, Penelope. If if not, we go just go alone. Sergeant Penelope, bad boy, why are you dressed like this? I have a curry for you. Oh, this is so romantic. What is happening? Will you go to homecoming with me? <laughs> bad boy, I I don't I don't know I. Come on, I bought this outfit just for you. Oh, she looked quite pretty when I look at his her face. Okay, I'll go with you. Yes! Yay, I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, haha, okay, but you better wear a proper suit. Haha, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, finally I got my date. Good evening, sir. How may I help you? Hey, I need to rent a suit for homecoming. 
Well, that didn't take as long as expected. Alright, time for the wolf ceremony. Can't believe I'm actually moving into the wolf house. Kinda crazy. Marcus, hey, what's up? Hey! Head on in, they are starting soon. This music again. Welcome and congratulations to you three who have proven yourself worthy enough for the wolf. Today is the day you guys officially become wolf. You guys should be very proud because this was no easy task. Today you will each be given your official wolf varsity jacket and a toast from all of us to formally welcome you into the wolf. Before I give you your jacket, I would like to remind you of one thing. Here at the Wolf, we are a brotherhood and no matter what, we look out for each other. Putting on the jacket is a symbol of your loyalty. Okay, fine. First up, bad boy. Thanks, man. That's all of you. Now, bad boy out of everyone proved he's most qualified to be a wolf. He proved his loyalty, his determination, but overall, he proved himself over everyone else. I think we should be expecting a lot from bad boy this year. Wow, so high hopes on me. Okay, other guys, I will just skip because it's none of my business. Hey, it's the big winner of the night. How does it feel, Sebastian? Uh, it's cool, we all did good, you know. Yeah, but still you came in as top dog. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to this first year. You ready to fight this year? Yeah, maybe. You need an, any pointer, let me know. But I'm sure you won't need it. What's that supposed to mean? You know, top dog. Ha ha ha. Yeah. But hey, welcome. Hey, bad boy, what's up? Okay, Finn, this guy is Finn. Just wanna say hi, you know, now that I'm ju in, just wanna get acquainted with everyone. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> so how were your challenges when you did this thing? Cause man, mine were rough, haha. <laughs> yeah, mine were good, can't complain. I came in second, stuck to the books, but you know, Chris had a lot of good to say about me. Yeah, makes sense, good job. You close with Chris? Oh yeah, totally. Chris is my bro. He needs something, I'm always his first guy. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah, well, catch you around. Let me show you to your room. Oh, okay. Chris look very funny because... Uh, <clears throat> I, <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, okay. Chris look like his skin color is kinda blend into the wall because it's too dark here. Okay. Here's your room. You can unpack and get settled. Thanks. No problem. Kim, get me if you need anything. Will do. Man, I can't believe it. Join the wolf. Move in here. This is gonna be dope as fuck. I gotta get on my fight training too. Oh, hey, you are in here. Yes, Perry. What's up? We are gonna play charades. 3 vs 3. Old Wolf vs New Wolf. We will need you on the team. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna go and find Inro. Hey, what are you doing out here? Getting somewhere. You good? I'm great man, I have a good feeling about this year. Of course, because you have me. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing, we are wolf now. Oh, so many talking with the man. How about girls? Feel like I've been waiting for this moment since my brother was in the wolf. And you make it. Man, we made it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, but really this year is gonna be dope as F. Remember meeting the first day? <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, I mean, I knew college was gonna be dope, but I didn't even think about joining a frat. I didn't see you one joining one either, haha. <laughs> I didn't see you on joining one either, haha. <laughs> okay, there is a typo there. 
Aye, what's that supposed to mean? Just that you know, you're a bit of a... A what? Bookworm? <laughs> I'm... Fking with you. Haha. <laughs> you're always fucking with me. That's what I'm here for. Alright, I'm gonna head in. Try to actually get some sleep. Okay, good night. Night. I should probably get some sleep. Oh, I'm so sexy. Wow. Am I having wet dream again? No? No wet dream? <sighs> this is so lame. Hey, it's autumn. I'm just about to start making sign. Do you still want to join? Reply, of course. Yes, of course. I'd love to. Great, I'm at the dear's house. Do you know how to get there? Yeah, I think I do on my way. Alright, see you soon. Okay guys, so I think that's it for today. There's no steamy scenes at all. It's been one hour, but okay, I will bear with it, okay? Because the steamy scene in College Canes are very good. So I will be patient. And then now I have joined the frat. I'm ready to shine, okay? So guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.